Hi everyone, it's Yamuna Turco, your Miss Vermont 2023, and I am here with CCTV to present something very exciting. I would like to introduce the Miss Vermont voice. So this show is going to be an interview style show. So I'll have guests on once a month and we'll talk about different aspects of their involvement in the community and maybe their ties to the Miss Vermont or Miss America organization. So I would like to have this first episode be an introduction to the show and kind of go over terms about the Miss America organization and about the Miss Vermont organization. So as I mentioned, I'm gonna be going over the format and style of the show. And so the interview style will be, I'll bring a guest on and we'll kind of talk about themselves, maybe their understanding of Miss Vermont and the Miss America organization, and then their involvement with the community. First, I'm going to go over the Miss Vermont Scholarship Organization. Our director's name is Darcy Fisher, and the current Miss Teen Vermont's name is Ginger Regatius. She is from Manchester, Vermont, and I am Yamuna, and I am from Colchester, Vermont. So the first Miss Vermont was crowned in 1945, and since then we have had um, Miss Candidates currently called delegates, but we'll get into that later, um, competing, and they go on to compete at Miss America. So our first teen delegate was in 2005, and it was Brittany Rhodes, who is currently the teen coordinator for our organization. Moving on to the Miss America organization and more about that. So the Miss America organization, our current CEO's name is Robin Fleming. She is new this year. She just joined us in January. And our current Miss America is Grace Stanky. So she will crown the next Miss America in January of 2024. Currently, we do not know when the Miss America competition is going to be, but we do know that the Miss America competition and the Miss America's teen competition will be held together. Previously, this was not the case, and the Miss America's teen competition was held in early August or late July. So the first Miss America competition was held in 1921, and the thing that sets the Miss America organization apart from some other pageants or competition styles is that we are a scholarship organization first and foremost. This is really important because it supports women achieving higher education but also wanting to go on to tech school or become an EMT. So that aspect really, I think, sets us apart from other kinds of, like I said, competitions or pageants. Um, we are also as a part of the Miss America organization, one of the highest awarding scholarships to women in the country. And as a person who was really working to achieve my education, I think that's really important. Having that scholarship will make the stress of it a lot easier. So as Miss Vermont, in addition to winning a scholarship, I also begin a year of service. So my service is to Vermont. My goal is to listen to Vermonters what they need. So I not only attend the super fun things like parades and different kinds of like social events, but I also go into schools and I read to kids. I talk to them about books and literacy and really help encourage them strive towards the goals that they want. And in listening to Vermonters, I'm able to broaden my own perspective and better serve Vermont. So next, we're going to go over a couple terms um, that I've already used, but I think it would be very helpful in continuing with this show. So the first term is delegate. Delegate is what we used to call candidates or contestants, but it actually is a young woman or a woman competing for the title of their state or for Miss America. Next, we have title holder. And title holder is someone currently holding a title. I'm Miss Vermont 2023, so I am a current title holder. Ginger Regatius, my teen, is a current title holder because she's the current Miss Vermont's teen. Next, we have CSI, which is perhaps one of the most important terms that we use, and that stands for Community Service Initiative. So this initiative is required to compete at the state level, but also to compete at the national level. My CSI, or Community Service Initiative, is One Book, One Child, which focuses on helping encourage a love of reading in kids while also promoting childhood literacy. I go into schools and I read books. I talk to them about why they like books and what kinds of books they like. And I also donate books to the schools that I go to in order to help them find the kinds of books that they like. Because not every genre works for everyone, I want to help kids find the genre they do like so they can de develop a love of reading. And the final term we're going to go over today is your year. 
your year is, well, my year started April 16th, and it will end about April 16th, because that is my year as Miss Vermont 2023. But that does not mean that my involvement with the Miss, Orga the Miss America and the Miss Vermont organization will end. That's because I will become a forever Miss Vermont. So in a year, or 10 months, I think, um, I will be, become a forever Miss Vermont. I will forever be tied to the organization. I will forever support the next Miss Vermont and the next Miss Vermont's teen, and really work to help grow the organization, but also help the current or the incoming title holders work towards the things they want to achieve. So with that being said, moving forward, this will be an interview style show. This was just an introductory episode. Um, I'll be bringing people in who are part of the organization, but also a part of the greater state of Vermont. And I would like to thank you all for watching, and I will see you again next time. Have a good day.